Made in Canada. Salesmen are here every day, competing for attention from the biggest customer in the world. Today, the Canadians arrived. There were upbeat slogans, an astronaut and a Mountie to pose with, and a burst of affection for an important congressman at a group photo. <laughs> Canada's trade minister couldn't find enough superlatives. The incredible relationship that we have had for so many years. The Canadians were not, however, anxious to talk about Canada's refusal to participate in President George Bush's missile defence system or Prime Minister Martin's assertion that the Americans had better not fire anti-missile missiles over Canadian territory. In fact, Jim Peterson thinks President Bush should take note of Canada's new defence spending. I think he'd be very pleased. I haven't talked to him since, but with the measures that we took in the budget. And I had nobody, uh, including a number of Republicans with whom I spoke this morning, mention that we weren't doing our share. Even the opposition representative avoided the subject saying she's here to focus on trade. We have to demonstrate why Canada is relevant to the United States. Clearly, American politicians aren't terribly agitated about the issue. Some of them oppose missile defense too. This Republican representative said politely that he did not wish to criticize Canada. Well, obviously, I'm very, uh, very concerned, and I hope very much that it's a temporary decision. Security within the hemisphere uh, is important. And officials are denying that Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice has angrily called off a visit to Canada, although they do say Washington has expressed displeasure. Secretary Rice uh, fully intends uh, to, to meet with her Canadian counterpart. Hello, how are you? Rice was, in fact, at meetings in London today with her Canadian counterpart, and Foreign Affairs Minister Pierre Pettigrew had this to say afterward. It was put like this, we're disappointed. Um, we wish you had participated in the BMD, uh, but let's move on. You know, what can we do? We are good friends, good neighbors, lots we can do together. In any event, this is a largely symbolic squabble. The Americans can easily go it alone if they can overcome their system's regular technical failures. And if it ever does get to the point where they are actually trying to shoot down incoming nuclear missiles, the sovereignty of Canada's airspace will likely be the least of anyone's concerns. Neil McDonald, CBC News, Washington.